Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is the 20p arcade challenge. This week it is Bagman. Now, the rules are pretty simple 20p or two credits. Uh, practice as much as you want, but your first recorded run is your run. So, um, 1982, this one. Um, uh, this is the, I think it's the French version actually, because it's got, it's certainly, I think oh, there's certainly an accent there. Um, it, it's definitely, it's definitely a, a strange game. Um, I'm actually going to put a picture of the, uh, one of the sort of uh, instruction inlays on the screen now, because that's actually quite interesting. It's kind of, you're a bank robber you've broken out there's gold in the mine you must get it without getting caught by the guards by piling it into wheelbarrow i know it's really weird but i remember playing this funnily enough on the uh, zx spectrum in a game called gilligan's gold now gilligan's gold um was almost identical to this and it's really weird because when I, once i put this on i went i know this game i hadn't even realized that gilligan's gold was um an actual arcade game in the first first place but however that does stand as a reason that tends to be the way with um, um, games and eight early 8-bit games so we're just um, sort of clones of the, the arcade anyway without further ado I'm going to put my 20p in um, and then we're going to have a go so it's highest score wins this week now there's weird things you can do you can you can hit them with uh, pickaxes as well to, to kind of uh, uh, slow the, down the, the, the computerised sort of little dudes there that are there and they sort of move along with a little knife trying to stab you I think I think it's a club though in the actual thing now um, you, when you put them in there you get the bonus that's on the top of the screen so it's like a bonus that's ticking away at the top of the screen so oh gone here it comes you get the bonus score that's there, so that's ticking down, it's 30, uh, um, 3,200, 3,100 as it goes along. Now, the way to make points, of realistically, or the best way to make points I've discovered is to, to put these these bags of gold... Oh no! Aye aye aye! Bags of gold close to the to the to the wheelbarrow and then dump them in because you get your re the time resets when you do that. So you can actually get them really close to the wheelbarrow and then literally chuck them in for four thousand points, um, which is quite a quite a, quite a neat little trick actually, if I'm honest. So um, I'm surprised he's gone that way. He norm he normally doesn't do that. Let's see if I can get all the way up to the top before he does that, and see if I can get at least the bonus for this one. Go 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 go! No, can't do it. He's just too too fast for me. Let's see if I can get this. Bo -bo -bo -bo. See if I can convince him to go down there. He seems to be very slow when walking, which is interesting. So if we can get that one in there like that, see, he's got four thousand. We get that one in there. That's another four thousand. There we go. That's a three thousand. So that's a good score all of a sudden. A really good score actually all of a sudden. Get hold of this one. Get on there. Now you can get in the mine carts as well. Ah, I've not got a problem now. Drop that because if he hits you when he's got the thing in his hand um, or the knife in his hand, you lose the bag, which is a bit annoying. So it's like hanging things from the ceiling. Do it like here, look. And you can jump in the minecart. And you're kind of invincible while you're in the minecart, actually. They can't get you when you're in there. So I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to get that one. And then there's a special one there hidden as well inside there, a little blue one. Let's see. What's the easiest way to get this back? I think probably. Drop that off the edge of there, that makes sense. Oh well, here they come here they come. They're all at the bottom. So the score's gone down now massively. Uh, I'm tempted to get that one. Well, let's get this one here. Now you can move the wheelbarrow around as well between there's three screens in total. I'm, I'm only on the first of the screens. But you can move them around. There we go. Now they're they've gone for the moment, the computer. So while while they're while they're busy doing whatever they're doing, there they are, they're at the other screen. I can go up here and I can get some more points. Yeah. Right. They're kinda of busy now doing whatever they're doing. <laughs> Should have moved the wheelbarrow really. Should have moved the wheelbarrow. Hey. Ah no! Oh idiot. That's my credit that's me over for the first life. Boo. I didn't advance correctly. I put D. Right, okay, carry on. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get some points here. And see if we can encourage this guy to come down. Here we go. And he gets a bit excited and he goes off one direction. Which is alright, I don't mind that. So we're going to try and dump this. We're going to dump straight in actually because that's good points that one. Early on. 
Oh, he's stabbing away. He's having a little stab session by himself. I'm gonna go get this one. <clears throat> he might come back, but we'll, we're gonna get go for it anyway. There he is. Excellent. Right, you go off and do a little stab session over there. I'm gonna grab this one here. This bag of gold. That's why we're in a prisoner's outfit as well, because we've escaped from prison. So as I say, it's kind of weird. Not weird bad, just a weird sort of game in, in general. I have to admit, I really enjoyed it though. I'm not, 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 a, not a game I disliked. Uh, you can drop the bags on them. You get 500 points for dropping the bags on them. It's a shame you can't kill them though. That's a bit of a... That's one of my... The, if I have a big problem with it, it's that you can't actually kill them with the bags, unfortunately. You kind of drop them on them and then... That's it. He's going to come this way. I'm surprised he didn't. Why haven't you come... You drive me around the twist! Have another bag dropped on you. This is rubbish. I'm going to have to move on because these two are doing my head in. Let's move the bar out of Barrow and we'll go to the next room. We'll see if we can get some points in here. There's one. Let's go for that. They, well, they're busy okay. doing what they're doing. Oh! Ran out of time. Bonus ran out. So you have to get them in as well within the bonus time, which is also really annoying. And I'll get the pickaxe. You see, he's running now because he knows I've got a pickaxe. Get hold of that. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. He's gonna. Aye, aye, aye. Damn it! He's gonna pop back up again. I have to admit to really quite enjoying this one actually, though. It's been a, it's one it's been fun to play. Problem is the barrow's now in the other room. Ah, oh, I can't drop it on fast enough. Oh, it's all over. That was really enjoyable, actually, to be honest with you. Anyway, if you want to see the, the high scores of the current um, um, leader, um, pop onto the uh, the Retro Tech 100 Facebook group. Uh, details in the description below. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.